Hey everybody. So this is where I'm going to show you how to set up your Windows 11 24H2 installation media using Rufus 4.6. In this case I've already downloaded the ISO but if you need to download it you can use Rufus and the way you do that is you go into this option here and you would make sure updates are turned on. If they're not, turn them on and then you should have this little down arrow next to select then you can choose download and then click download and run to the process and I think I have a video on how to do that and I'll include a, a card in this video to get you there so first and foremost you want to make sure that your flash drive is ready to go it's at least 8 gigabytes in size um, if there's any files in there that you need to keep back those up because this will wipe that flash drive so anyways go ahead and click on select and we'll go ahead and locate our image okay it took just a moment but anyways what we're going to do here is I'm going to actually change this over to MBR and the reason why we do that is because this allows us to install this on computers that don't have <clears throat> a UEFI firmware and instead have a classic BIOS and to do that we also have to bypass what I call the Microsoft Elite Class System Requirements when it was 11. That's why we're using Rufus to begin with. That and other reasons. So I'm going to click on Start. And you're going to see all these options here. It's where you can remove the requirement for 4 gigabytes or more memory, secure boot, and TPM 2.0. But there's a lot more options in here. You can remove the online, or excuse me, remove the requirement for online Microsoft account. We're going to set the regional options to the same values as this system. Disable data collection, skip privacy questions, and also you can disable BitLocker on Mac device encryption. This is a big one now. Um, I do not like BitLocker being turned on by default. Um, it's just something that really annoys me. So we got that checked. So Rufus allows you to do all these different things. So you can remove the requirement for the uh, Microsoft Elite Class System requirements, or more or less the Windows 11 System requirements. You can remove the requirement for a Microsoft account. That way you can use a local account without going through the hassle. You can set the regional options to the same value as this system. It, it, it saves time in the setup process. And disable the dumb questions about data collection. More or less answer no to all of them. And again, disable BitLocker device encryption. And we'll select OK. And it's going to warn us that all data on the device will be destroyed. We're okay with that. We'll select OK. So this may take a few minutes, but um, once it's done, your flash drive will be ready to go. Okay, you can see we are finished. So that means our USB drive is now ready for installation. Now one thing I do want to mention is earlier I had set this up as MBR. I should note that you will still be able to install Windows 11 and GPT format on newer systems despite this being set to MBR because truth is when you set up a Windows 11 USB installation media it generally writes to the drive as MBR anyway that's at least from, from my experience so what this does along with bypassing the system requirements it allows you to install Windows 11 on systems that don't meet the requirements even systems that um, don't have a UEFI firmware now I do want to um, caution you that um, of course in the past I've always mentioned that you should um, of course it's kind of you're on your own if you install Windows 11 on system and don't meet the requirements but now with Windows 11 24 H2 you are basically limited to systems that are newer than let's say AMD Bulldozer on the AMD side of things for example you cannot install this on a Phenom 2 system like the Plexi which currently runs Windows 11 23 H2 um, also you cannot install this on stuff from Intel such as the Core 2 Quad. You have to have at least an i3, i5, or i7 generation CPU. So keep that in mind. But anyways, that's how you can set up Windows 11 24H2 using Rufus 4.6. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody. Thanks for watching this video from QCrew Channel. If this is your first time, please subscribe to the channel and tick the bell so you get notified of a new video I post. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. 
and share this video as well as the channel with your friends to get the word out. In addition, I have a second YouTube channel. That's QCompMTDX. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for your support.